Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. A while back I did a review video of these four books that I purchased from Belba uh, Family, I think is the name of it. Yeah, Belba Family. These are all color by number books and they all have the same color palette for all of their books, which as you know, I love. <laughs> just like all of Sun Life drawing books, they all follow the same uh, palette, um, color palette. So, Belba family, seeing that video, contacted me and asked me if I wanted to review their three newest books that came out. And knowing how much I liked those, I said, oh yes, I would be happy to. <laughs> so, there are three new books out. Um, this one is called Woman. Then we have a Christmas and Travel Mosaics. And then this is a really different concept one. It's called The Money Book. <laughs> so we're going to look at all three of these books. And let's look at the Woman coloring book first. Now, before I open this book, I want to tell you... Uh, Belba, when they contacted me, told me to look on their Instagram page and uh, or their Instagram account and there was a page in there in a description uh, describing a different way of coloring these types of books. Actually, any type of color by number books that have squares and I have many of them that have little bitty squares because when I did write my review of these initial books um, I said oh my gosh you know these squares are so teeny and uh, you know they explained like like I know um, you know if you have a bunch of 14s here it's not like you're coloring in e every itty bitty square you just section that off and you color the whole area in right so it's not as difficult as what it initially looks well on Instagram, this alternative way of coloring these square um, mosaic books is just, it's, it's been life changing for me. Okay, that's a little dramatic, but it has changed the way that I color in these books. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. You ready? Ta-da! First of all, did that not come out awesome? Oh, I love the detail in this. But if you cannot tell the alternative way, let me zoom you in. The alternative way of coloring these, and let me tell you, this is so much fun. Oh my gosh, I am just having a blast. It is, you just, instead of coloring in the whole square, you place an X through it. That's all you do is a whole bunch of X's. Like here's a bunch of ones, and that's a peach color. You place an X. So the effect of this whole picture looks like cross stitch, right? Doesn't that look awesome? And I just, I love the detail because the squares are so tiny or so small. They're not super tiny, but they are on the smaller side. Because they are smaller, you can fit in all of this detail. So let me zoom back out. So again, I thought she turned out gorgeous. I mean, you can see the ring on her finger and all these flowers and stems in the background. I just thought she turned out beautiful. So of course, I had to do another one in here. And that is, there is a gal and a guy dancing, and they have masks on. <laughs> Let me zoom out a little bit more, because got you in. Can't see the frame. There we go. Um, they do have on every page uh, the color palette. Let's try that again. The color palette on the bottom, but it is always on the back of the book also. And like I said, all 22 colors are the same for all of their books. So, isn't that neat? Now, I want to read you in my uh, previous review of these books. Like this one is Dogs. 
in the beginning of these books, it describes what's on each page. So there's an American Bulldog named Steve. So these must be famous um, dogs. So it gives you the name of what's on each uh, page and gives you the page number. Same with the Passion book in the front gives you the name of what is on each page. So it doesn't give you the cheat pictures in the back like uh, many of the color by number books do, these mosaic or mystery type of books, but it does give you, like this one said, flowers, you know, and then there's golf, guitar, so you kind of know what the picture is going to be. Okay, with this particular book, and I want to read these to you because I think they are so neat. Okay, so for each page, and it's like two pages because they always count the backside as a page. And all of these quotes coincide with the, the picture that's, well, not coincides, but it gives the quote across from the picture, what's in the front of this book. Does that make sense? So the first one says, and these are all geared towards women, so sorry guys. <laughs> it says, if a girl looks swell when she meets you, who gives a damn if she's late? Nobody. <laughs> there are three things men can do with women. Love them, suffer for them, or turn them into literature. <laughs> Aren't these cute? Being a woman is a terribly difficult task since it consists principally in dealing with men. <laughs> Adornment, what science, beauty, what a weapon, modesty, what elegance. When God makes a beautiful woman, the devil opens a new register. <laughs> and these are quotes from famous people, actually. It says, uh, lots of people want to ride with you in the limo, but what you want is someone who will take the bus with you when the limo breaks down. I love that one. Women want to love, want, bleh, let's start that again. Women want love to be a novel, men a short story. <laughs> a woman asks little of love, only that she be able to feel like a heroine. Women are naturally secretive and they like to do their own secreting. <laughs> If I'd observed all the rules, I'd never have gotten anywhere. <laughs> all you need in this life is ignorance and confidence, and then success is sure. Friendship isn't a big thing. It's a million little things. I like that too. All right. It says, keep smiling because life is a beautiful thing and there's so much to smile about. Dress, dress shabbily and they remember the dress. Dress impeccably and they remember the woman. Woman, like wind, lightning, electricity. The strength of women comes from the fact that psychology cannot explain us. Men can be analyzed. Women merely adored. <laughs> A girl should be two things, classy and fabulous. You educate a woman, you educate a man. You educate a woman, you educate a generation. Oh no, it says you educate a man, you educate a man. You educate a woman, you educate a generation. Okay. A woman is like a tea bag. You never know how strong she is until she gets into hot water. <laughs> I like that too. Happiness is not a destination. It is a method of life. For some women, it is enough to walk down the street once to remain in the memory of a man forever. Modern paintings are like women. You'll never enjoy them if you try to understand them. <laughs> a hungry man is an angry man. You always heard, you know, woman to a, or the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Yeah. If women didn't exist, all the money in the world would have no meaning. Ain't that the truth, right? All the world is made of faith and trust and pixie dust. <laughs> I just thought those were so cute, so I had to read those. This one, I put a big X through. I cannot do it, and it's because I royally screwed up, and I think this would have been so cute. When uh, I took out, now I am coloring all of these. I'll have to tell you, I'm coloring all of these with my Arteza Twi Markers. They work 
perfectly and I'm going to show you a number of pages that I have not gone back and colored out of these two. Because the Arteza fine tip are so super fine, they work great to do all these X's. And then I did also do one in here, which I combined the that ultra fine tip and the brush tip of the Arteza markers, and they worked great in here too. The Arteza Twi markers, not the alcohol markers. These are single sided though, so you can do them in alcohol markers. But what I did is I took my Arteza color chart because all of these, again, they have the same color palette. Well, I use toy markers for this. Yeah, I also use toy markers now in my other mosaic books. And I picked up that color chart, what I have written out, because it's 22 colors also. And I started coloring this in according to that chart. And here I had the wrong one. So these are all in the wrong color. And I didn't really notice it till I started doing her skin. And I'm like, wow, that's really going to be orange. Why would they pick such a color for her skin? Yeah, I had the wrong set. So this was not going to turn out no matter what. So I just X'd it. So I didn't, I knew that it wasn't something I, that was a whip that, yeah, it's something I'm not going to be able to finish. So I went ahead, like I said, I just, I love how this one turned out. So let's look at, now I'm, it, you know, of course, doesn't pay for me to show you the pictures because they're not going to mean anything. But again, all of these quotes are uh, across from uh, a picture. Like this, this one's from Coco Chanel, uh, Mark Twain, I mean, you know, they're just all different famous quotes. So that is the Mystery Mosaics Woman Color by Number Book. All right, then we have the Christmas and Travel Mosaics book. Now, this is not the little squares. This is a mosaic book, and I'm going to show you the one that I colored. Some of these are horizontal, some are landscape. Isn't that cute? I thought this turned out so pretty. And again, it's the same color palette. And let me zoom you in just a tad so you can kind of see. Okay. Now, like I said, some of these spaces are really small, you know. So then I use the real fine tip of the Arteza marker. And then we have some larger areas. So I would use the brush pen end of the marker. Now, even though these were supposed to be left white, I took a gold glitter gel pen. I don't know if you can see it in the picture. I thought, oh, that would be cute to make them shiny and silvery and glittery. So that's what I did. Yeah, you can't see it. But so I made all four of the reindeers have glittery little bells on their, their collars. Um, but that's the only enhancement I made to this picture. But yeah. Santa flying up in the sky with um, all the buildings down below. So I thought that turned out really cute. But let's go ahead and look at this. Now, this book and the next book, oh, let's zoom back out. Both of these next two books come in the color by number version and also a non-color by number version. And they have different pictures on the front so that you know which one is which. This one with this uh, looks like a Mexican type of Santa <laughs> is the color by number version. Not quite, I'm not, I can't remember what is on the non color by number version. Um, but when they asked which one I wanted, I of course opted for the color by number versions because that's me, color by number. All right, nameplate page. And again, we have the table of contents. So it is going to give you what each picture is about. Like here's Chinese New Year dragon. Here's in Russia, in Paris, in Mexico, Santa Claus picture. So it does kind of describe what each picture is going to be. Oh, that's cute. I'll have to do that one too. Here's Santa giving a, giving a new car with a big bow on. Here's some angels, 
So the, these pictures are just adorable. They are a little more detailed in some areas, but then as you can see, in some areas they're not. So it's kind of a combination. I noticed that in the uh, picture that I did too. There's some bigger areas, and then there's some little bit finer areas. And that's why those Arteza toy markers work so perfectly in these books. I uh, just love it. Ah, uh, oh, I like that one too. The two kids sitting on Santa's lap. And as you can see by the one I did, they turn out so cute. Oh, there's the Chinese dragon. Now look at all these teeny tiny little number twos. That's yellow. So yeah, I definitely, you know, would use a, a fine liner for that. Now any fine liner, of course, even doing those X's, any fine liner is going to work for doing that. But like I said, in this type of book, the Artuiza toy markers work so good. Or there are some other... Um, generic named markers that have the brush tip on one end and the fine liner on the other. So those would probably work just as well. The Artezas to me just have a little bit finer of a brush nib to them so that's why I like them better. But here's the choir boys singing. Old time uh, Christmas village. I have a diamond painting like this. You have Santa hanging out of the train. You diamond painters know exactly probably what I'm talking about. It's It looks just like this. Or very similar, I should say. Probably not exactly. I don't remember if it has a tree back here or not. And there again is the one that I did. <laughs> oh, look at them camels. So we have Santa in all these different countries, right? Oh, this one must be Australia. <laughs> there is the one from the cover. Must be Mexico, right? Oh, there's Patty. So it's kind of interesting to see, you know, Christmas in all these different countries in their own garb, you know, their own garments and traditions and whatnot. So I think it's really interesting. Oh, look at the ornaments, all the different types. Oh, that's pretty neat. Oh, I like that too. Your uh, typical, you know, tree by the hearth and the kids with the animals. That's cute. This reminds me of a painting, right? Do you know what I'm talking about? Where the, it's like the mom and the dad and the kids are out ice skating and, or am I just, thinking of something else. Hmm. Sleigh ride through the village. I can't get the pages apart. Now these are single-sided like I said but they are printed on Amazon paper. Now here is one that's not quite so detailed and and this was the one if I you remember in the beginning I, it was uh, uh, called Santa Claus so here's your typical Santa Claus page so I would like to do that one too I think that looks neat all right and it says back here we are Belba family all books are made with love for people and nature. We thank you for your choice and we will appreciate your feedback with a review of the book on Amazon, Facebook, or Instagram. Your opinion could help us to make our books better. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Then has their social media down here at the bottom. So that is this book. 
And then they have some real gray lines in here and I believe that would be for testing your mediums possibly. And then a couple of additional blank sheets back here. Or if you wanted to tear one of these out, well, I can't even separate them. Tear one out and use it as a blotter page behind. Even if you were to use colored pencils in here, you should put a, a sheet behind just so you don't get uh, uh, pencil marks in your, the next page. So, Okay, then the last book in this set of three that I received is called The Money Book. Again, this is the color by number version with the piggy on the front, the big piggy bank. And the non-color by number version, again, I cannot remember exactly what it looks like. I will link all of these down below, including the non-color by number versions of these last two books. So we have our nameplate page. I can't say that I've ever seen a coloring book dedicated to money, so this is going to be interesting. I have not looked through this at all. And as typical in their books, they do have a, a table of contents here. So we have aquarium with goldfishes. We have a dog, lucky toad with coin, triple turtle, piggy bank. So these are all things that have something in one way or another to do with money. So here we go with the koi fish. That's cute. How does it go this way? Oh yeah, it goes this way. You can always tell because the color palette will either be along the side facing this way or along the bottom. You know, you can read it the other way. Does that make sense? So it all depends kind of, I mean, for the most part, you can tell whether it's supposed to go landscape or portrait, but just in case. All righty. Okay. Oh, isn't she pretty? Oh, that's cute. St. Bernard, right? <laughs> Look at that elephant. He's quite adorned. No, that's not an elephant. He looks to be, let me see, this is page 15, and I know that's some country, right? Page 15 is Ganesha, is that it? Ganesha? Okay. It's a man and an elephant, or just a headdress of an elephant? I don't know. I'm not familiar with this kind of stuff, as you can tell. Oh, that's cute too. That would be adorable colored in. It's got a little scale here for gold. <laughs> so this must be your lucky charm, leprechauns. Grapes. Oh, look at that pretty horse all adorned again this would be very pretty colored in and number one is peach so there's some ones in here and then number three okay that's beige i was thinking something in here was going to be number two yellow because then i would have said hmm i think i would have gotten my yellow glitter gel pen again to adorn some of this but uh and you still could like these tassels and these little bitty circles. I can't see what number that is from up here, but 13 was it? Violet? I mean, you could. You could take your uh, glitter gel pen and, you know, make it a little blingy. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that is cute. There we have that toad. Money, love, happiness. <laughs> For you kitty lovers. Like me. Money, money, money. All kinds on that page. Oh, 
Who says money don't grow on trees? I want one of those money trees. <laughs> Where did they find that? At least I think it looks like a money tree. Oh, all the acorns. That's a that's neat. With the roots and everything. Could draw on some dollar bills on that too, right? <laughs> Here we have the owls. See, and here the coins are yellow. So these you could bling out with like a yellow gel pen or gold or whatnot. So yeah, you can you can change it up a little. Here too, these are all gold coins on the piggy. With inside here is six, which is red brown. So yeah, you can color them with whatever. So all the coins in these pictures are yellow. So you could really bling them out. Oh my gosh, isn't that pretty? Ooh, let's see what colors these are. 17 and 15. So that's blue and lime green. Ooh, yeah. 13 and 15 violet and blue. This outside one is 14 and 19, which is light blue and dark green. Oh my gosh, isn't that going to be gorgeous? Wow. Fancy beetle bug. That's pretty. I'm going to have to do that one. Mm. Oh my gosh. One moment, please. Alrighty, I am back. I thought that was going to be my typical call that I get on my home phone because usually it's just junk calls, you know. But it wasn't. It was Bob. He was trying to get a hold of me on my phone, which I turn on airplane mode before I record. So I don't get phone calls and whatnot. So yeah, he got a hold of me on the home phone instead. Here we have some decorated elephants. These are all so pretty. I think they would be just gorgeous colored in. So yes, again, very different concept for a coloring book, but really neat. Okay, this goes uh, this away. <laughs> Mousies want the money too. Oh, I wish my wallet had some hundred dollar bills in it. <laughs> Don't we all? Maybe yours does. Reminds me of a Viking ship with all the jewels and money in. And that is it. And again, talks about the Belba family. Okay. Write down or paint your dreams here. And we got dollar bills all floating in the background. What would be your dreams to draw here? Hmm. I couldn't draw them, but could maybe find pictures of them and paste them in here. Wouldn't that be a, a neat concept? Because you have like your dream boards, you know, your goals and whatnot for the future. Oh, that's kind of a neat idea. Here are some sample pictures on the back. Here's them cute kitties. Very, like I figured, it, they would all be very colorful and vibrant. So, definitely going to have to color something in there. Now, I wanted to show you these two books that I had purchased myself before they sent me those. Let, let me zoom back out. Um, these are the two books uh, that are all squares, just like the one they sent me on women here and where I colored these to look like cross stitch. I went back to these two books because I had so much fun doing that. So I had to color a couple in each of these books. So let's take a look at what I did in here. So that if you want to try this, if you have any of the square mosaic type of books. Okay, I did. Now this one, I was it was the very first one I did in this book and I colored it in the normal way 
and I thought it turned out cute. Can't remember what markers. I might have used, well, I think I used alcohol markers in here and then it started running dry. So I ended up having to go with a different marker. But then, starting with this, I started doing with the X's. Is that not adorable? That is a Yorkie. And again, I'll zoom you in so you can see the X's. And I zoomed in too fast, so now it's taking its own sweet time to catch up on me. All right, come on, there we go. But see all the little X's? And you do not, believe me, do not have to draw perfect X's because heaven knows I can't. If you really, if you could really look at these real close, they're not perfect little X's like over here, you know. But when you look at it from far away, they look really good. <laughs> these, you know, they're, they're not perfect. Um, but, oh my gosh, I, I am, I'm having so much fun with these. As you will see at the end of the month when I show you what I've colored for this month. <laughs> yeah, I've gone back to my mosaic books and I have colored a ton using this method <laughs> with the X's. So here's a couple I colored out of their passion book. And I thought too, this one turned out so pretty. Let me zoom back out so you can see the whole thing. And uh, yeah, it's flowers in front of a, I don't know if it's a house or a building, but uh, looks like a brick building. And then this one I colored in, again, was the first one out of this book before I started doing the X's. And I used water-based um, markers. And again, I just, I don't like the look as much. With them being water-based, you know, of course, they get real streaky. Um, and I know that does not bother some people, and that's great. Uh, to me, I guess it bothers me a little bit. So by doing the X's way of doing it, you can do it with water-based. You don't get the streaking. You don't have to worry so much about, I don't know about you, but I can't draw a straight line to save my soul. Um, <laughs> so it, for me, it's really hard to do the squares around, you know, the, the doing the straight edges. Whereas with the X's, yeah, I, you know, doing the X's, the line's got to be somewhat, somewhat straight, but not really. You know, like I said, these X's do not have to be perfect. So I just thought I would let you know about that. Like I said, I have a number of uh, square uh, mosaic coloring books. Um, and I've shown a number of them in my videos. Uh, the ones that I love, of course, are my circle ones. And I probably have more of those than, than squares. I do also have a few, I was going to say octagon, but that's eight-sided. would be hexagon books. And I think with the shape of the hexagon, I think I could also do the X's in those books. So that's going to be the next test that I am going to be doing now that I have these pictures done. I'm going to be working on, well, right now I'm working on another Camellia Anjakova book for the month of November, with it being Camellia Anjakova month for myself and Kate from Kate's Coloring Haven. Um, but after that, I'm going to be trying one of my hexagon books to uh, try this technique in. So that is my review of Belba's, Belba Family's newest three books. And again, I will link everything down below. I think I'll even go ahead and link these down below. Um, these are the two mosaic, uh, the mystery mosaic books. And then, uh, well, no, I think what I'll do, rather than linking all this down below, because I already did that in a previous video, I will link the video itself where I did a review of these uh, four books, and I have links in that particular video. So uh, if you wanted to purchase one of those, you could go ahead and look at that other video of mine. So thank you so much, Belba family, for sending me these. I thoroughly am enjoying them. Um, I can see coloring some more out of the, the Christmas book this next month through, uh, you know, up until Christmas. We shall probably do one or two out of there. Not sure because I have so many Christmas coloring books now and I've ordered a number of new ones already and 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. The problems that we have as colorists. <laughs> our hoarding of our coloring books. All right. So I hope you enjoyed watching the flip throughs and the new technique that uh, I discovered thanks to Belba family of coloring these. Now, of course, the bigger the squares, the less this X technique is going to work because um, if you have very large squares like I showed in um, another video of mine, I'm not sure if that one's going to go up before or after this one, um, but there are large squares in some of those uh, pictures. And the very large squares now, the X's won't work as well because there will be so much white left um, that it, it just it would not work of course. So the smaller the square, the better this coloring with the X's would work. And as you can see with these small squares, you know, again, it works so nice. Just perfect. And again, looks just like cross stitch or counted cross stitch. So, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys.